Hello everybody and welcome back to our brand new series in conjunction to games you probably might have heard of. This, my necromancer of a series, is going to be called Bring These Games Back or Else. The or else is I'm going to complain about it on in videos like this. Basically, I'm going to be talking about game series that companies should really think about bringing back, remastering, whatever, you know, it's just, I, I want to see these games again because they're good games. Today's topic is, of course, you've already seen the thumbnail, it's going to be about Bomberman Hero and why I think it should really either probably get remastered or something of the like. It it's, it's a great game. It's got a, a lot of childhood memories, but let's see if it still holds up. And of course, you know, everyone talks about the classics like Mario, Zelda, Yoshi, Kirby, Monopoly 64. But Bomberman Hero is one of those classic gems that's kind of hidden that not a lot of people talk about, which makes me sad. Because as a kid, you know, it was like in my top three games that I played constantly. So, let's begin with us watching the opening. Hey, Bonnerman, wait! Well, I can't run as fast as you! So one of the things that you probably know about this game, you've probably heard it, in other YouTubers like uh, I think Peanut Butter Gamer and maybe some others like that, John Tron maybe, but you you hear a lot of there's this the g songs from this game in their videos and a lot of other YouTuber videos as well. It's it's good. Let me show you. The story is essentially Star Wars story of uh, Princess Whoever and their little robot with a disc and whatnot. They She gets captured but sends the robot to go find Bomberman on Planet Bomber. All that grand stuff. And so the first level is the training room. And again, we're hit with that beautiful music. And, you know, it's pretty much the first few levels are just training rooms. And just overall, I really, really like just how... I like how different the enemy design is. There's literally clowns, there's just rocks with faces and arms, and all sorts of just different kind of weird stuff like that. And then, of course, you got your different sections. You got, like, your water levels... You got your sky levels and all sorts of stuff. The gameplay needs a little bit more polishing up because it is very, very much one of those uh, early 3D platformers. But they do a really good job with it. Especially with like the floatiness of Bomberman and how he interacts with just the world in general. It, it works out pretty well. So, I guess one of the last things we can end on, talk about is one of my favorite things about this game. It is one character. His name is Nitros, and he's got probably one of the best themes in the game. Just listening, just listen to the music that's going on in the background here. This is his theme. It's a really interesting boss fight because you're more so, it's more so like a bullet hell not so much with what you're seeing going on right now, but later on, it just gets harder and harder, more traps and stuff for him to slip into to actually make the the spikes and a bunch of other stupid stuff starts happening. There's one part where you have to pretty much blow up his, like, protective field. It's just... It's, it's really interesting how they get one character to just con constantly come back 
and just every time you face them, it feels completely fresh and completely new. Overall, I would give this game like a 7, 8 out of 10, something like that. It needs a few brush up things, but I think once the mechanics, if they remaster it and kind of nail down the mechanics, please, Konami, just do a remaster of Bomberman Hero. Everyone will thank you for it. I will. It'll be a lot better than R, too. I can guarantee you that. So, I believe with that, we will uh, end on that. And don't forget to subscribe. Like us on Facebook. Check us out everywhere in the links down below. And don't forget, it's-a me, Bomberman.